Hey there guys, welcome into my channel. I decided to make this quick tutorial because it took me ages to work out how to turn traditional art into digital line art in Clip Studio Paint. So let's dive right in. The first thing we're going to do is head up, up over to the file tab, open up a traditional line art file. I'm just going to scroll down here and pick one that I scanned in earlier. So here it is, one I made earlier. A little joke for anyone over the age of 30 there. So the first thing we're gonna do is head up to the Edit tab and scroll all the way down to Tonal Correction. Submenu and hit Level Correction. This is gonna allow us to turn our whites white and our blacks black. So if you can see in the little box there, there's a couple of different colors. And what we want to do is bring the cursors from the bottom over so that the black goes really black and the white is really white. You can play around with this as much as you like until you're happy and then just click OK. Now that the first part is done, we can head up to the Select tab and scroll down to select color gamut. It's always gonna be set at 10, which is fine. It does the job nicely. And we just click the whitest part of the page we can, hit okay, and press delete. Now you can see that there is no more white on that page. You can do this process as many times as it likes to clear all of the background paper. Once we've done this step, you notice there is no more paper. So just to make it a bit easier on the eyes, I'm going to add in another tab here, drag it to the bottom underneath the line art and give us a, a bit of a page so it's easier on the eyes. Oh, that's a bit too easy on the eyes. Let's make it a bit greyer. So now we've got separate line art from paper. but it's not quite black enough. So let's head back down to tonal correction, level correction, and you see the levels have changed completely from the first time. So if I scroll all the way to the left, we're gonna get some really funky colors. We don't really want that, so I'm gonna start moving it back towards the right hand side of it and get some really black blacks. Yeah, that's better. I'm liking that a bit more now. So when that's done, just click OK. And now we've got some really dark line art. So the reason we want to separate our line art from our paper is in digital art, we don't really want to have to stay inside the lines. We want to be below the lines. This allows us to get a nicer, cleaner image. So what I'm going to do now is just any of the little dots that are left over from clearing it, just select an area, correct line, remove dust. This will clear any of the little specks on the page and give you a nice, clean, finished piece. So I'm going to show you now really why we've done this. So I'm just going to create a new layer Add a bit of skin colour in there, nothing perfect. And paint. This is what it would be like if we was to paint directly onto a scanned image. We'd be going over the lines. It's going to be a lot of hard work trying to get a nice picture out of there, but we don't want that. We want it to be nice and easy, as though we drew this in a digital format. So let's undo that. So I'm going to drag the paper behind our line out now and getting some nice clean edges, nice and easy underneath the lines where they should be. So 
So that's it. That's all the steps there is to creating digital line art from traditional line art. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing many more in the future and I hope this helps as many people out as it did helping me out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified when any new tutorials get released.